Hey guys, my name is Els Marshall and welcome back to Hey Guys. This is the show where we talk about what's been going on the internet in the last week. Let's get into it. YouTuber Hobby Stewart recently had some very good news followed by some very bad news. It all started when Hobby posted a video about how he's going to be a dad with twins. So Hobby had a one night stand with a girl back in summer then weeks later he found out he was going to be a dad. Uh, guys, all I'm saying yeah is yeah just be protected yeah just don't move crazy yeah just be safe like Dr. Marshall's back you know what I'm saying from last week. So. In the video, when he announced he was going to be a dad, he was excited. Like, he, he went to get dummies. He went to get pajamas for the baby. Like, looking at the scans. She had a baby bump. It was all crazy. Like, Hobby then released a video on YouTube saying, my children don't exist. What? what? What's going on? He said in the video that his potential mother was lying the whole time for eight months. Yes, I said it. Eight months. How can you... I don't know how you can lie for eight months for that long. Hobby was really paranoid, right? As he thought she went missing. He called up the police saying, there's a missing person. The police came back to Hobby and said, we found her, we found her, it's fine. And he was like, okay, okay, found her, that's great. What about the kids? And the police are like, what kids? What, what are you on about? She actually stole somebody else's baby pictures. Like literally stole it. Like it's someone else's baby. What are you doing? Like it's not yours, yeah? You just, you, gra you grabbed it from someone else's, someone else's babies. Good luck to the future, man. I hope you can be a father one day. I've got faith in you, man. Big up, Hobby. So talking of twins, McDonald's, I've got two new babies out. Let's go and check them out. Right, so we're here at McDonald's and today we're gonna try out the new Grand Big Mac. And we're gonna compare it to their little brothers. Let's do this. This is in fact my first ever Big Mac, yeah? This is gonna be my first three Big Macs in my whole life, like this is crazy. I'm actually excited. I'm gonna go with the original first, you know what I'm saying? Big Mac things. Look at this, this is the first one. Oh snap, I'm dropping everything. Yeah, it's got the cheese, got the lettuce, it's got the burger, it's got the pickles. Not sure about the pickles, but we're gonna firm this anyway. Cool. <laughs> Thumbnail, no, I'm joking. <laughs> um, it takes a while. The to, to eat my soul. The first ever bite of my, my first Big Mac. It's decent. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know why I don't get this often. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm just getting cheeseburgers and double cheeseburgers. What's wrong with me? I like that, man. So, I'm gonna Mac Junior. McDonald's, come on, fix up, man. I know it said Mac Junior, but you still need a box for it. Obviously, it's not gonna be as mad as the Big Mac. Let's, let's check it out. So, basically, what they've done here, McDonald's, they're being a bit lazy. What they've done is a cheeseburger, but they're slapped in lettuce. Now, yeah. it's small. Why? The Mac Junior, decent. I ain't gonna lie, it's decent, but. I can't deal with it. I have to eat like bigger food, man. I have to have the Big Mac. No, no. We have got, we got the grand. Hey, yo, I'm too, I'm too gassed. I'm too gassed. We got the grand Big Mac, bro. This is. Hey, listen, cameraman, focus on that. Yeah, listen, cameraman, big, big man. Yeah, focus on that right now. Yeah, grand Big Mac. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this, you know. This is exciting, though. Oh my days. Oh, are you seeing this, cuz? Look at, look at that. Yeah. Cameraman, you know to focus on that one right there. Oh, oh, oh. it's a bit mad right now. All right, okay, how am I gonna eat this? Um... Nah, I, I'd probably say the Grand Big Mac was probably the best out of all of them. Even though they're all like gonna send kind of the same, it is a bit filling. You gotta be a big man, you know what I'm trying to say? You gotta handle food if you wanna have that, all of that. I don't know how people can have the whole Grand Big Mac. You must be crazy or something, but this Grand, Big Mac was nice. I gotta tell everyone about this one, man. Hey, wait. What, what's, what's going on with Snapchat? Oh, let's find out. So, Snapchat has updated their app and people are really not happy about it. They've actually updated it so you have to search for people's names to view their story. Your friends that you mostly talk to will be at the top so you won't see everyone's story like you did before. It'll be completely different. Also with the chat, you can see all the bitmojis as well on the left side. That's pretty cool, I guess, but you know, Snapchat, I don't know about the stories and stuff like that. But in fact, there's actually a petition for Snapchat to go back to the last update because right now people are really not happy like i haven't updated myself because i'm scared you know what i'm saying i'm 
I don't want to update that because that's a bit crazy the way it's moving with the stories and stuff right now but so Snapchat I've said you only can see the stories at the top who you chat to the most on Snapchat so say if your friend Billy you know you chat to him all the time you know 24 7 he's gonna be top of your story you know what I'm saying he's gonna be top man like Cole he's gonna be like the bottom because you don't chat to him you don't like him you have him on Snapchat and all that but you don't like him so his story's gonna be at the bottom you know YouTube myself this is you're gonna have to reply to all the messages it's gonna be a it's gonna be a mission I'm not gonna lie it's gonna be a mission I'm gonna have to hire someone to uh reply to uh, my supporters now so they can actually see my story hey yeah if you got me on Snapchat yeah Els Marshall one follow me at the MTV UK Snapchat yeah I know it's a bit scary updating the Snapchat how I've explained it right now but you know update it have a play around with it see what you think and uh, let me know in the comments below so talking of snaps check out this snap of what this woman found in her lettuce a dead lizard in her lettuce what let's see what the public think about this we're out here in the public and today we're going to talk about the lizard that was found in the salad what let's see what the public think about this let's go hey yo mtv thing interview nah 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 why not you're famous though for real man all right so what would you do if you found a dead lizard in your lettuce Woo! Like, what, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Don't do that again. Anyway, so what would you do if you find a dead lizard in your lettuce? I'd be pretty upset. Look, this is the picture. Yeah, this is the picture. Right. So oh, that's nasty. That, yeah, nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, you might as well though. Are you, are you vegan? No. I think you guys are <laughs> vegan, isn't it? So you don't want to try that. What, would you not like try it though? No, no, no. Why, why, why not? Like, you've got to try something new, you know what I'm saying? It's nasty. No, you don't know that because you haven't tried it. What would you do if you find a lizard, a dead lizard, in your lettuce? No, but you got it at home, you got it at home. So you're cooking at home, yeah? Oh. And then you see it in, in your salad. Eat it, you might as well eat it, no, it's dead. No, no, no. why not? Like, you might as well experiment, new, new food. Yeah, but he's dead. Yeah, right. And so you might as well eat it, innit? So uh, what would you do if you found a dead lizard in your uh, lettuce? I don't know, I'd probably cry. <laughs> right, this is the picture. So, hold on. No do you not try it? No. No, but why, <laughs> why not? Why not? Vegetarian? Ah, yeah. oh, fair enough. Well, I have to go into a restaurant. Yeah, no, what? What are you on about restaurant? Okay, what would you do if you found a dead lizard in your in your salad? Fucking give it back. Why would you give it back? Well, I don't want to eat a lizard. Are you vegan or something? You no, don't, you not don't, vegan. No, you're not vegan. Eat me. You look, you look like a cool guy, I'm man. Not, I'm not a cool guy. I'm not a cool guy. Would you, would you eat a dead lizard? Yeah. No, there is. Yeah. You've got, you got to try something new. You might be nice. You know how you can eat scorpions? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Can you, why can't you eat lizards? I think there's people out there have eaten lizards before, well, so. I personally wouldn't eat a lizard, so. <laughs> <laughs> is it cooked? Is it? No, no, you can cook it. You can cook it. So if the lizard was cooked, you know, you find I it don't in your. I know how old it is. I don't. It doesn't matter. But say it's fresh. Yeah, you give it a go. I would try that personally. I don't know what's wrong with you guys. Say it was a whole chicken. <laughs> oh yeah, no, yeah. Say chicken. We got chickens. Yeah. So the internet has gone mad again this week. Fake kids, Snapchat moving crazy, dead lizards, and McDonald's with new burgers. Bruv, it's mad. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you guys leave a comment on what you think about all these news stories today. Make sure you guys follow me on social media at Marshall one and make sure you follow at MTV as well. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.